So we're going to cut off like all a... of this. Quite simple, um, but you've got to do it well. You know, you do the simplest of things really, really well. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the length in. And uh, just to make it just that little bit easier, we'll do a little bit of this. Just a little bit of that, a little bit of that, yeah? Wow. Cal, you can sew this to the inside of your cap, Cal. <laughs> yeah. If you sew this to the inside of your cap, you can have hair. <laughs> you need it, yeah. As, uh, as long as you're watching what we're doing now, Cal, because I know you're like taking calls and who knows what else you're doing back there. I'm doing a faux bang. A faux bang. <laughs> So, so, Mr. Fobang, Fobang, <laughs> Fobang, yeah, my name is Fobang, <laughs> that's my name, it's Mary Sue and Fobang, <laughs> with Carl Blute, <laughs> Carlitos, Carlitos Way, Carlitos, Carlitos Way was filmed around here, was it? I don't know, I just said it, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, <laughs> so, Carl would know, because Carl knows everything, Carl? Was Carlito's Way filmed around here? Two blocks. There you go. Believe him, you believe anything. All right, we'll put Hydro Mist in, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pack it with volume foam. And sometimes it's really good to put the volume foam in before you cut, because we're gonna go for a wash and wear, so volume foam's gonna build out some thickness into the hair. This product is $23. Beautiful product. It's a nice creamy foam and it's lightweight, but it really helps to add thickness. So you'll notice I pump about six pumps and the more you pump in, the more hair you get. We've been using it on Cal and it's working. Yeah, I saw a strand pop out today. <laughs> Said hello. Follicle, came right out of the follicle. <laughs> So work that volume foam all the way through. We did an abundance of volume foam and we're squeezing it all the way in. That's nice. When you apply the volume foam, you apply it like that. If you just slap it on, it's gonna fizz, like fuzzy. So you don't want it to fizz and be fuzzy. No fizzy fuzz. No fizzy fuzz. <laughs> and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna comb it through. Combination, I'm gonna put a little bit more through the sides. Let's work this right the way in. And we work this right the way in. This is just a nice foundation then, because now once we cut it, we're gonna go from wet to, uh, to dry. We're gonna keep it casual, we're gonna keep it easy for Mary Sue, but we're then gonna maybe dial it up a little bit with a little bit of, we'll, we'll see how we go. So just get the hair prepped. When you're doing something like this, Getting the product in first kind of makes the client kind of think differently because it's not normal. Usually people just slap on a bit of product at the end. But if you actually kind of put it in at the beginning, it forces the conversation, which is good for you and your client. Does it fall more one way than the other that you know of, that you can remember? <laughs> Um, I like it in the middle, but it does fall. Falls where it is, yeah? yeah. But you like it in the middle. Yeah, but I do have that little cow lick. Oh, you, yeah. what are you doing with that cow? <laughs> Don't let that cow lick it. <laughs> yeah, so we'll cut it from the middle. It's going to be a haircut that is uh, completely, you know, just wash and wear, and yeah. wherever it goes, it's going to look great. So, are you ready? Ready. Are you sure? Yeah, so ready. <laughs> All right, I'll use one of my uh, razors. Isabel changed the blade for me. She likes to change the blade in between haircuts. <laughs> she likes to change the blade just just daily. It'll She's be a new one before this is finished. <laughs> probably will be. So this is really a simple cut, but you've got to execute it really well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring the line. I got rid of some of that extreme length. We didn't need it. I'm gonna push it as much as I can to make it as dynamic as I can. You get the feeling from your client. You kind of have to read your client as much as possible when you're in the salon. Here's what the client wants to feel. She wants to feel that you're confident so that she's confident. 
She wants you in control because she's not in control. And, uh, and then you have to just, you know, lean on your experience. Central section. Did, did, oh, pulled off your mask. There you go. Get yourself wrapped up. She's wrapped up and good to go. Oh, she's got one of these masks on with, the extra, the, uh, with the extra wiggle on the back. No, it's okay. Okay. I think I, I can do. You you want to get it? It's okay. We got the le extra flap, you know, when they have the little yeah, the tightener. Little string at the back. Makes it more fun. Yeah, it's always easy to catch, isn't it? It's easy to catch. <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Isabel's it? filled with one liners. <laughs> Isabel, you did Brooklyn Live last uh, Thursday. Yes, I did. I was, uh, I was waylaid. Yes. And you did it. And how did you enjoy it? It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was nice to jump right in there. And uh, Milena had great hair support, so it was uh, it was a really nice session, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so my first section is going to be the foundation section. It's the baseline. Work with your clips. It's quite a healthy section I've got right here. And we're going to work from the inside out. Now, this weekend in New York, I'm teaching a hands-on class. And if you want to, if you're close by and you want to learn razoring, you can still sign up. Yep. We've got a really nice razor, two-day razor fundamentals class on here in our New York Academy. Right now, I'm going to establish the, the length. So I put the line in. Mary Sue's head's light, slightly down, and I'm putting the line in, the baseline. And I start by putting it in quite cleanly. When you're razor cutting, you work from the inside out. So you're working from the inside of the hair out to the edges. So you know that it's different from a scissor because uh, with a scissor, you can cut one way, but with a razor, you can cut two ways. We have to get a better angle, I think, Carl. There you go. I got to keep a Carl on his toes, you know, tire <laughs> him out. He needs his, he likes to eat tuna fish. He needs to, maybe he's not at his tuna fish today. <laughs> for breakfast? Yeah, for brekkie. Love that. So I, I got you now. I can see your little loop-de-loop. -loop. The, uh, I have a question for you. Excellent. What and we love questions, don't we? We love questions, guys. Keep them coming. Um, what is the fundraiser thingy? Ah, uh, the fundraiser thingy. <laughs> I bet they didn't say fundraiser thingy. They did. Thingy. How do they spell thingy? <laughs> How did they spell thingy? T h i n g y. Thingy. thingy. Okay, so there's a very <laughs> famous hairdresser. Her name's Ashley Norman, and. Uh, We've been chatting during this whole pandemic and this whole process as we've been kind of using our social media to connect and support each other. And I saw that she's coming to New York to teach a class out in Long Island, and she's super successful. So I reached out and said, uh, you know, she might be interested in coming down here to do a, to do a class or to collaborate on something. And uh, we decided that we would do a special you know, class, and we'd raise money to help the uh, recall process for Gavin Newsom. Because, you know, Gavin Newsom's closed down hair salons uh, in, uh, in California, and uh, there was no science to say why they did it. So uh, the California Beauty, F Beauty, the Professional Beauty Federation, Fred Jones, um, they're actually suing the governor, so we're going to help them. Awesome. Because can you imagine if you couldn't, I mean, I know what it's like. I was closed for three and a half months. They smashed my business. Yeah. Same thing in California. It's five months, six months, seven months. They closed, they opened, they closed, they opened, and they just reopened. So we're going to do a fundraiser. So the date is going to be posted, um, and I'm going to start posting today. We just literally just put it together yesterday it's going to be in february and i'm not sure of the actual date off the top of my head i believe thank you andrew is the 23rd correct 23rd of february also 
Um, nice. Good question. Yeah. We're trying to get as many people. Pl please share. All the money is going to go towards the uh, to the Beauty Federation to help them. So it's to help California hairdressers. I, I, yeah, I've given Carl all these cameras now. I'm going to have to move out of there. How's that one? Let's get this one up. Number three. Is that Number is that you? Is that what you're waiting for? <laughs> you know, sometimes Carlito's way. Carlito's way. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ship. <laughs> that we keep on pulling it off. Get it on. I'm um, get a ghost, Mark. No. You what? Should I get the ghost? No, okay. don't get the ghost. The ghost of Christmas past. That was uh, <laughs> that was last month, Isabel. <laughs> I have another great question for yeah. you. Yep. This is Dennis Dichori. Oh, Dennis. Sounds crazy, but since I'm old now, my fingers are a bit crooked. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. Is it easier to cut with the razor? Uh, was that question from Carl? It's got because I've seen <laughs> Carl's crooked, crooked fingers. Uh, no, it's actually it is easier to cut with a razor because basically, you think about it, it's just one one tool. All I'm doing with this razor is this. Yeah. Great shot, Carl. All I'm doing is moving yeah. this. So you know, and even if you can't get that motion, notice it's not the wrist. You can even do this. Like we call this the full arm. Yeah, so yeah, Dennis, it's a it's a great tool to really practice with. I mean, look at how precise I can make the hair. I can make the hair really precise, uh, like a scissor. Maybe not as crisp as the on the edge. Actually, I can do sharpness with softness. It's, so yeah. It's kind of crazy. Like I never thought that was achievable with a razor, you know. You never, because you're, you're from, day, you're yeah, back like... in the day. I love it when Isabel says back in the day, like she's 473 <laughs> years I'm of age. I'm a veteran, okay. Back in the day. <laughs> back in the day before, before television. Uh, you, but you was a soon scissor cutter, yeah? Yes. So just never. So you changed. So how did you find it when you started to play with the razor? Oh, it was um, it was obviously a little tricky at first, getting like used to the more so the holding of the comb with the razor. Yeah. And uh, the like changing that over, that was kind of tricky. But um, I'm so I love it a lot. Yeah, I really like it. I love it a lot. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> like I like it. Like I like it. Now look, what's happening here is I'm now doing what we call like a little bit of open razor cutting, so it gets more texture. See the texture that we have here. Open razor cutting gives you that beautiful texture. I've established the baseline, so now I want to create some softness on top of the baseline. So when I began the cut, my blade wasn't as flat as it is. It's really flat. When I started, I was more on the edge, more on the edge. But now I'm flatter, and that adds a little texture. You still breathing, Mary Sue? You can see, you can see the back of your head as you cut, yeah? Good. Yeah, so we colored the hair. Erica, she's one of our colorists in our Soho location. Did a beautiful hair color. She used L'Oreal uh, Professional. She used Majorelle. And she did a nice chocolate. And then she put a little bit of caramel through the front to diffuse and create some softness. We wanted to kind of make the hair look healthier. When the hair gets too black, it really washes the client away. So by putting in a few highlights, it's like a partial with a single, that's what we call it, partial highlight with a single process just to soften it. And Erica's a super professional colorist, super talented. And, and how's the chair side manner? Yeah, you had fun with her, was she nice? Excellent, so that's, uh, Check out Erica. She works in our Soho location. Just lifting up and just adding a little bit more texture. I'm just peeling away a little bit of texture. Not a lot. I am going to be layering it. So, And you'll notice how I lift to allow me to see how that hair falls. Simple cut, but you do simple things really, really well. And don't cut corners, cut hair. you notice I've worked all the way up the back. So yeah, if you do want to learn razor cutting, I have a razor fundamentals class coming up. That's a two-day in-person class this weekend. 
If you want to learn razor cutting, but you're not in the zone to travel, I have a virtual razor class, which is hands-on. So we've got this rig set up that we can do hands-on education virtually. And uh, you can be at your home or you can be in your own studio. Or you can be in your salon. So that's something for you to think about because the future of education is going to be more like this. And we're trying to make it the best that we possibly can where we can have interaction with the guests on the class. We've already done uh, a number of hands-on virtual classes with great success. Of course, we're all dubious at the beginning. How the heck do you teach people distance learning? Well, the good news is with the pandemic, uh, the good news is I having a school, we really had to uh, you know, kind of move on that quickly because we're trying to keep our business moving forward. So straight away, we started first off with the theory online learning, and then we got into the hands-on practical online learning. And I, at first I was very, you know, scared. I was very kind of, you know, just kind of perplexed about how that would work. But now with the magic that we have here set up in the studio, oh my God, it's so good. It's just like being in person. And we do these American Wave certifications. And uh, we have one class. coming up in February. What do you say, Izzy? It's such a good class. It's a good class, it isn't it? It really is. It's really thorough and it's really fun. You got certified, didn't you? I did, yeah. I was part of the class the last pass we did. Nice. And um, yeah, it really, it really, really was a, a very good class. Whoa! Come on! <laughs> She's out! <laughs> It's a special. I can't believe I didn't get the ghost mask. Oh, I, you know, I, I can't believe. Yeah. <laughs> I can Causing believe. Causing all kinds of trouble here, aren't I? Yes. <laughs> you know, so this is a good thing for people to know. When the clients come and they have these masks on and they have the extra looper rooper, it causes a problem. It's a bit harder to manage. I don't know if you can see that, Carl. Yeah, we, yeah, there he's, he's coming, slowly but surely. Sometimes I, like, yeah. took it on top of the ear. You took it on top of the ear? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's the camera angle. Let me show you. There you hey, go. at last. Watch, watch. Woo. <laughs> You're good. You're good. You're very, very good. When you are going to the salon, one of the best masks to wear is one like I'm wearing. Oh, sorry, I banged my microphone with my comb. I forgot. Did, it, did, did, did you hear a loud noise? Boom, boom. I have a nice little um, hello from Tommy Magna. Yeah. Hey, Tommy. Hello from Thomas, formerly of Aveda. I'm 80 and still following you. Regards and stay safe. Oh, thanks a lot. Hi, Tommy. I have another question also. Beautiful. Do you have any spring trend forecasts for haircuts and colours? Oh, yeah. Well, I think f as far as hair goes, as far as hair goes, I think you're going to be doing a lot of wash and wear. Yeah. So the shape's going to, uh, we're going into an easy breezy, less maintenance type of zone because we've gone into a let's do nothing with our hair kind of zone. Yeah. If you, if you remember what Mary Sue looked like on Yesterday, she had long, long hair. She's not had a haircut for like a year. Yeah. And that's common for a lot of people. So going from no style to more of a wash and wear style, so easy breezy. I'm a big fan of short hair. Big fan. Uh, but wash and wear, natural texture. And then as far as color goes, I'm pushing reds. Yeah. My whole good. focus is going to be red, red, and red. So I think that redheads... Uh, is something that we've not really fully explored in a long, long time. And I think it, the time is now. So reds for colors, wash and wear for uh, textures, more kind of casual, easy breezy. And then in reference to, um, in reference to, uh, you know, everything else, that's just the, what, what I'm thinking. Reds, natural wash and wear and short hair. Yeah, let's get some shot because you know what people are like, what happens just because we've got a, a vaccine, you can see it's not like running. We're not like, oh, everyone's got the vaccine. So what's going to happen is we're going to still be in this zone for another 12 months. 
So if you get your hair cut, you may as well not just get a trim, get something substantial. There's my predictions. Yeah, I love that. Erica, who did the colour also, has dropped the formula in the chat here. Oh, good job, Erica. And I can read that out if you like. Why not? Go for it, Isabel. Yeah. As long as you can spell. As long as I can read. You can read. <laughs> it was colour. Why do they have, where do they, how do you spell colour in England? Oh, we spell C-O-L-O-U-R. Oh, you are, are you? Oh, yeah, <laughs> and in, co in America, it's just straight to the point. Color. Yeah, color. But in um, England, it's color. <laughs> I'd like some color, please. <laughs> Why don't you read out the formulation? Okay. The color formulation. <laughs> so she used for the roots uh, L'Oreal Marjorel 5NN 30 grams and 7NN 10 grams with 20 falls. And for the glaze, she used Dia Richesse. 7.23, 25 grams, and 7.85 grams. Thank you so much, Erica. Wow. <laughs> she read it. Well, wow. did a good job. I always trend, I a, little, I always trend a little longer when I do the second side. So let me just have a little look. It's without the mirror. To check it, you take a piece from here. You take a piece from here. You're going to pull it down. Pull it in. If you comb in the, uh, the same amount of hair, you can see it right in front. I think it's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Does it look pretty good, Cal? <laughs> you what? <laughs> I got it. I thought you said, I think you died. <laughs> thought, oh, God, really? I'm out. I'm out at last. <laughs> free at last. Free at last. Another thing that we're doing here at the studio uh, what is, uh, we're actually doing personal classes. So if you know somebody or if you're a salon owner and you're looking to inspire your team, we can custom build you a personal class. And usually we do one and a half to two hour classes. I think 90 minutes is the perfect time for your team to zoom in and get a blast of inspiration because we need inspiration to keep us, get, the, get us through this process. Just because uh, we've obviously been, it's a different phase now. It's a new year. It's a different phase. And the phase is we've got to continue to keep inspired as we navigate through a much quieter landscape. And it's a quieter landscape, obviously, depending on where you're at, deciding, seeing how much... Uh, how how people are confident to come out of the house. I know in New York, there's still a lot of trepidation. Lens cut. The nice thing is we've got some of that existing edge work tipped out. So it looks good. Now it's time for me to do some face frame. So we'll face frame it. I'm layering hydro mist in. It's my lightweight conditioner. I like to use it on my clients. And uh, I'm just going to layer it in. I damp it down. You cannot raise her. You can't raise her. I'll just let, leave that there. You can't raise a dry hair. It really just frazzles up the hair. And because her hair's fine, I can take quite a healthy section. And we just comb this forward. Now, don't forget, we're still doing our Brooklyn Live every Thursday. And we're really pushing through with a lot of new stuff. We're going to soon be launching a whole new channel with a lot of this content uh, that we've done in the past and live content. So we're, we're pushing the boundaries on digital education. And uh, we're excited to see where it's going to take us. But, you, but what I, we are doing right now is we're doing Happy Mondays every Monday. Every Monday is a Happy Monday. You want to do it again with us this week? I can't. Oh, you can't? I'm actually doing uh, the Milady book. On Monday. Oh, good for you. Yeah. So you're doing Milady. Well, I've got a great guy doing uh, with me oh, on nice. Monday from Florida, Scott. So uh, you can find all that information. We're going to be posting about it. But if you want to come to Happy Mondays, it's 5.30 p.m. EST, Eastern Standard Time. And... Uh, It'll be myself and Scott. We're going to have a creative session. Happy Mondays. If it's Monday, it's always happy. It's 
certainly is. Yeah? And if it's Thursday, it's Brooklyn Live. Yeah. I have a message from Scott Marche. That's who's doing it. Is that hey, it's coming in all the way. <laughs> so he just said, um, from True Salon in Fort Myers, Salon here is busy and we're doing a Botox party. Our business is actually up from last year in service and with the addition of a full boutique. That's well, great. I'm jealous. Yeah. I'm jealous, Scott. <laughs> we're all jealous. Congratulations. Thanks. I'm so happy. That's brilliant. Yeah, in my city, they just tell everybody not to do anything because you're all going to die. <laughs> but, you know, thankfully, in other states, there might be a little bit more common sense that doesn't kill the business. Yeah, so Scott's coming up for class and he's going to be demonstrating with me, so we're thrilled to have him. And uh, Scott, do me a favor. Bring me a vial of Botox. <laughs> yeah. And, and I think Cal just put his hand up. Well, we need two vials. Yeah, that's just for one side of Cal's head. And then uh, get some for me too. <laughs> Pretend it's the vaccine. Yeah. You can shoot my arm and all of a sudden I'll be like, I feel better, but my, I don't feel that much better, but my arm looks a lot nicer. Lifted and numb. Have you ever had plastic surgery or any injectables, Isabel? I, I actually haven't, no. You haven't? No. Well, we're having a Botox party. Oh, when? Yeah. In uh, February. Exciting. Yeah. Carl's coming. He's going to be the doctor. Dr. Carl. <laughs> so you'll notice how I'm working all the way around. We're dragging the hair all the way forward. I'm elevating the hair up now. Open razor work. Just very soft and seamlessly taking the, uh, you don't want it heavily layered because if it's heavily layered, it's going to look blah, da, blah, da, blah. Yeah. And right now I'm using a thing called tipping. So when you do cut hair with a razor, one of the nice things is it's free form. Yeah. You have to have the precision of your scissor first. So you understand the precision work first. Once you understand the precision work with a scissor, then you can explore with a razor, and the razor's going to give you different stuff. So again, it's not one's better than the other. Different and both very valuable. I think you just answered someone's question. Wait, whoa, see that? I'm, <laughs> I, I'm a clairvoyant. I can, I can uh, <laughs> mind read it. What was the question? It was, by using the razor to layer, does it give a better effect around the face? It's softer, it's softer and can be more fluid because you're not just cutting length, you're adding taper, okay? So while it looks simple, it's, it, it, it is simple, but it's not easy because you've got to learn how to get that beautiful kind of softness around the face. Beautiful softness around the face. Let's come through. The, I'm going to spin around the opposite side. Now I'll, I'll play to camera one so that you know the maestro here mr uh mr carl mr carlito <laughs> just hydro mist is a lightweight spray it's 21 dollars. it's just a light spray conditioner i like to use it <coughs> it adds shine into the client's hair plus it gets them kind of just zoned into what you're doing <coughs> Your client, we got to, this is one of the things that I've learned with this pandemic. We're going to have to start charging more for haircuts. We're going to have to start charging more for color. There's no choice. Because uh, you're going to have less visits. So you're going to have to start charging more. And what that means is you're going to have to be better. So that means you've got to elevate your game. And you're going to have to uh, really work for that value. And you should be working for that value. You know, in the 2008, 2009 recession, hairdressers lost so much money because nobody put their prices up. So we're already behind, we're already behind. But quality uh, is what you have to focus on. And trust me, your hair, think about hair, you wear it every day. A pair of pants you wear once a week, unless you're Isabel. <laughs> yeah. They stay strong forever. They stay strong forever. <laughs> yeah. You know what they say? They say, uh, your hair is the crown you never take off. But who says that? Julia Dobson Wood. Oh, who's Julia Dobson Wood? Someone I used to work with at Sassoon's. <laughs> oh, okay, God. Wow, I thought you was going to like tell me like something <laughs> famous like Coco Chanel. 
You know, it's not <laughs> Julia it, Dobson would. It could well be Coco Julia Chanel. Dobson would. It could well be Coco oh, Julia, she said. What, and other, what was her other uh, great saying? <laughs> Thirsty yeah. Thursdays. <laughs> Thirsty Thursdays. <laughs> what did she like to drink? She liked. Uh, she loved a G and T. A G and T. Is that not a car? G T. A gin and tonic. A gin and tonic. That's the English people drink that, don't they? Yeah. I have another question for you. Good. Would you recommend this cut for thicker hair or should the layers be longer? Oh, no. You can do this exactly the same on thicker hair. Yeah, rem think about on thicker hair. You go shorter, it's going to get thicker because shorter hair is thicker. So when I'm doing it on thicker hair, I'm going to texture it out a lot, lot more. Look, Ashley Norman hair just mentioned me in my story. So, uh, so Ashley's coming to New York and we're excited for that. That's going to be great. It is going to be great. Mm. Now I'm going to stand in front of my client and I'm just going to pull it forward and have a look and see how it's all shaping out. Again, it's casual, it's loose. Allow it to be, it doesn't have to be. It's not like a line drawing this. This is a sketch. This is a sculpture. It's going to have movement. Every strand of the hair, you know, I cut clients' hair, they say, oh my God, you cut every strand. Like as if they go to another salon and they don't get every strand cut. I cut every strand, but it's intention. When you're doing hair, have that intention. Make sure that you comb the hair well. Have that perfect intention of uh, just uh, creating magic. Make it magical. There's a saying. You can <laughs> give that one to your mate in England. Make it magical. Make it magical. Yeah. Make it magical. Make the experience something. It's not just the cut. It's the actual experience that's important. And you can see we don't take ourselves too, too seriously. Uh, you know, but that's kind of like we're having fun. We got to have fun. Notice how I've allowed the hair to dry. I'm always allowing that hair to, to talk to me. Sometimes when the hair's wet, you can't see what the hair's doing. I've got a white cape, by the way, Carl. I forgot to bring it. Yep. We're halfway there. Are you doing okay there, Mary Rose? Is that right, Mary Rose? Did it change again? What did I call? What was it? Mary, Mary Sue. Sue. Mary Sue, Mary Rose, <laughs> Mitzi, Schmitzi. You know, we got, we got it. What I do is in my salon, I put a, uh, uh, um, I have these uh, prescription pads for product. So I make sure the names of the clients there, just in case I have a, a dropout. Yeah. Yeah. It's a mental dropout. So just allowing the hair to fall. Now let's have a look and we're going to lift it and we're going to layer. We're going to layer this top surface a little bit more. So we're going to elevate this all the way up. And I like to call this kind of knocking out the corner. Some haircuts are very detailed, some haircuts are less detailed. Yeah, you know, you're just working for the sweet spot. We also have a classic cutting class coming up here in uh, in February. That's another. That's a three-day hands-on class, all taught with me. If you're interested, all of our education's available on, on orojopro.com. Come and have fun. Shake out. This the new year, and we got to get past pandemic. We have to get past it. The good news is, every day I'm meeting people who've had the vaccine. So confidence is going to get better. Uh, obviously, we still have to be cautious and careful during this time. But, you know, salons are a safe place. It's one of the reasons why yeah, they're going after Gavin Newsom, because unfairly he closed salons and there's no evidence that it's a high spreading environment. Yeah. We're masked up, goggled up, we're socially distanced. Yeah, so that protects us. And it protects the client too. So it's very safe. Yeah, we sanitize the station after every client. We sanitize the backwash after every client. And honestly, it's pretty touchless. When you come to my salon, there's no cape, so you don't put no robes, you don't put a robe on. We just put a cape around you, we put a towel on you. 
and uh, if you're having color, we put plastic underneath to protect everything. We've tried to make the appointment as seamless as possible because, uh, and when I say seamless, as touchless as possible. So you just want to look at the ends and make sure you've got like, the density is here and then the softness is there. So you want to make sure that it's still, you know, you want to make sure that it's still got balance. And also I do a lot of point cutting and uh, it just gives the shape a little bit more softness. But more importantly, it looks different than this doing this. So if you're doing this, no problem, but you're doing this, and I'll be honest with you, you might say, oh, it's a little gimmicky. It's not a gimmick, but it looks better because uh, it looks different. So again, who's watching you? The client. Your client's watching you. So she's watching you, and uh, you make whatever magic you can do. So that client always comes back to you. <clears throat> The power of being a successful hairdresser is not cutting a client's hair once. It's keeping a client for life. That's how you succeed. Yeah. The return. The return. The return. Also, the return. I always ask my clients in the salon now, you know, how, how does it feel? Does it feel safe? And everybody I've asked is like, says the same. It feels super safe in the salon. Well, you know, Isabel, that's because you wear that nurse's outfit when you're cutting hair, you know? <laughs> you're dressed up like a nurse, you know? Come in my full suit. You come in with your hazmat. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. You know? That would be funny. <laughs> so again, just lightly just softening. You don't want to overlay this. You want to kind of keep the thickness and the volume and the body within the hair and the pieciness. And that's what we're getting. And the volume foam's working because it's fattening up the hair. Yeah, volume foam is like eating a big bar of candy. Gets the hair nice and fat. Yeah. Thickens it up, gives it a bit of texture. She has a lot of silver within the hair. Yeah, but obviously it's colored. And what I always say is, you don't have to cut this too short because when it comes back, it looks shorter. So it creates a little bit more. It's not, where, it's not where you cut it, it's where it ends up or where the layer falls to. Yes, Izzy. Yeah, do you always cut to dry? I always like to do my best to cut to dry because let's say you get the services an hour, you only see the hair dry for a minute before when she comes in and then you see it dry at the very end. And usually you're working with the hair wet. So I want to get it to dry so I can kind of see what the personality is. If you watched Happy Mondays, I cut a girl nice and short. We did like a little pixie this past week on Monday night. And when I started cutting her hair, her hair was so uh, unique. It was curly, it was fine, it was wavy, it was behaving in uh, not an unusual fashion, but it was not as smooth or as easy as I thought. So as the hair dried, that's when I started to really get feel secure about the cut because as it dried, it got better and I could work with it more. So hair, wet hair has the same personality, wet, wet, flatter, longer and dry hair. That's when you see the true texture. So, yeah, I do like to cut and, yeah. uh, and then I'll wet it down if I need to, to reset it. That's why I put the, uh, I put the product in early straight away so that I could just do a wash and wear. Still breathing? <laughs> uh-huh. Looks so good. When was the last time it was this short? <laughs> wow. In years. In years. Yeah, but it's so much lighter. And it feels feels so better, good. yeah? Yeah. You know, getting your hair cut is like rejuvenating. It makes you young again. And, uh, and also, just we're an experience. Think about it. Yeah. Certainly in New York, in California, a lot of people have been going out with it, but have been going without the experience. So I'm optimistic now that once we see the spring, I'm optimistic that we might see a big jump up in our business. Now you've got to work for it, guys. It, it, if you sit back and wait for it to happen, you've got no chance. 
So what does that mean? You can't just sit back and wait for business to pick up. It's not going to happen. Yeah, you, what's going to happen is people are going to be looking to get the experience, but you've got to go out and get it. You've got to go out and share and tell and talk and discuss and push yourself forward. I'm finished, really. I'm finished. You can see she's got that little cowlick here. Yeah, literally, I don't know if you can get close on that cowl, you know, with the fancy number five. Number yes, sir. Five. Yes, sir. Number five. There's the new camera. Brilliant. Yeah, so you see how it literally splits this way. That's the way it goes. It splits right there. So if you put it into the middle, you get the little donka donk right here. <laughs> but that's okay too. I like it. This is what I'm going to do. Can you turn the wand on for me, Izzy? Yes. Let me get me my blow dryer. Bring it all over. <laughs> First thing is, we'll just blow dry the hair away. Keep your client clean. Keep your cape smart. Look at the logo. Make sure everything looks good. Let's just lightly dry it. This is my uh, Erosio Ionic. Fantastic blow dryer. Yep. With this launched in the late fall of 2020. It's like 2020 was the year that we lost, isn't it? Yeah. I can't believe it's nearly been a year. Yeah, it's nearly, well, it's, it's... My Nana's had her vaccine now. My mother? Yeah. Yeah. She's had her vaccine. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I. She told me last night, she went partying. <laughs> she said, I got my vaccine, I'm going clubbing. I said, <laughs> okay, mom. She's been running around. <laughs> been getting about <laughs> just keep drying this for me as they just okay just mush it up like that just soft wonderful i think she's dry yeah yeah definitely now let's put a little texture in good yeah yeah good put a little texture in with the wand we'll just dial it up a little I'm going to use Primp. This is my uh, workable spray, which I uh, like a lot. It's softer. It's a great spray for... I'm just going to add a little bit of hold. Now, she's got the volume foam already packed in. So it just adds a little bit of hold. Look how much fullness her hair is. Oh my that God. Make sure the other door's open. She's never going to get out of the door <laughs> with all this volume. <laughs> We're in Dallas, baby. Dallas, we are. So now what we'll do is I will take sections. I'll take pretty big sections. We're not going to make a, a big song and a dance. And we're going to split it here. I'll clip it. Then you're going to take sections. And then I'm literally, literally going to wrap the wand and just put a little bit more movement in the hair so just drop it out just put that little bit more tousled texture into uh i'm gonna think about it now mitzi sue <laughs> mary lou <laughs> mary sue mary <Hey>. sue <laughs> i'm so smart so it's big sections, keep it simple, and go quickly, you know, and show your client. Let them see. Hey, listen, this is how you do it. You take a panel, and this, this one comes with a glove, so she'll never burn herself unless somebody steals the gloves. <laughs> and we're just literally wrapping that around just to give it a little bit more loose texture and a little bit more volume. And uh, that's how we, this is how we do it. We're not going to put any lift around the crown or around the top. And we're working randomly backwards and forwards. And not putting anything at the root, just at the ends. Today's the high impact day. What does that mean? Well, we've done a hair. We've changed it. 
high impact. Everyone's going to say, wow, you changed your hair. It's going to be the day that she's going to talk about where she went. And this is what we have to do. You have to build business by doing clients uh, and, you know, making sure that they've got business cards or making sure that they know exactly, you know, where to come and see you. Let's just get these, like, nice curl formations in. I'll spin around. I have a question for you. Do you have a question for me? Yeah. Definitely not. You can't do that. <laughs> no, you're wrong. Yes, fire away. Um, w what is happening with Arojo Expo this year? Ooh, Arojo Expo. Expo, Expo, Expo. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Is that an echo chamber? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody call the doctor. <laughs> yeah, we need a doctor for Isabel. <laughs> so Expo, first off, let me give you an overview on what Expo is for anybody that's maybe not, not heard of that before. Expo is the Erosio hair show. So every year since we had our product line, we've done our big show called Erosio Expo. And that's part of our kind of, it's our culture meeting place. So we put on an inspirational educational event. It's two days. It's always in New York City. And uh, we celebrate hairdressing and we have classes and we have shows and we try and cover all bases. So what do I mean by covering all bases? Uh, we do uh, barbering, razor cutting, scissor cutting, styling, fashion styling. We do business. Uh, we cover, we do hair color, we cover as every aspect of hair. So our 10 year anniversary was last year. So uh, because of the pandemic, we couldn't do it. So Expo this year is actually going to be uh, in the same venue as it's going to be last year, which is an incredible venue. It's the TWA Terminal at JFK. And uh, it's a two-day symposium. And uh, we're definitely doing it. And it's in the mid-September. And all the information is on erosiopro.com. So we'd love to see you. And it's something that if you like our style, You'll love the way in which we put on this event because it's casual, easy, fun, and Carl will be there. So <laughs> it's going to be great. And then what we're going to do in, in May, just to mix it up, because I like to do different stuff, what we're going to do in May is we're actually going to do a full day of digital expo. So uh, we're going to do a digital hair show. That means we're going to broadcast a full-on show with models, runway, the whole nine yards, with the audience at home. So that's going to be uh, Expo Digital. So that's going to be the first uh, thing that you're going to get to see. And I'm, and I'm really excited by that, actually. Yeah, I know so Carl's excited by it. <laughs> and uh, we just want to keep pushing forward with our digital agenda. We believe that we're onto something, and we're going to stay with it. When I started Erosia, we were probably one of the first companies to really embrace education as a new brand many, many years ago. We did great success with all of our DVDs. We'd bring out DVDs every year, and then we had our online subscription, and all the education would end up on subscription. And then, of course, the world kind of evolved, and uh, people got into social media, and that became a great tool. And you know, we had, there's a lot more competition in that space, and there was a lot more offerings. When I started Erosia in 2001, there were less offerings for education. It was just the regulars, the Sassoons and the Tonian guys. So we hit the ground running, and I feel like right now, and this is what happens in business, people kind of catch up. You're busy doing certain things, and then all of a sudden you're forced into kind of reinventing to stay relevant, and that's exactly where we're at. We're in a reinvention mode, and that's a nice place to be, because when you're doing that, you, you know, it gives you fresh energy and a fresh perspective, and you're not trying to chase anything. You're actually setting out a new process to think about, okay, what is the future of hairdressing? Right now, we've been thrown into chaos with, uh, with what we've been through. And the clients also, we've allowed the clients to get bad habits. 
not doing their hair. You know, so they've got now, and they've kind of coped. But you know what's going to happen? And, I, and I'm, I, I'm an uh, intuition guy, all right? So I'm an intuition guy. So you'll say, what the hell does that mean? I get these intuitions, like feelings and senses, of what we should do or what I should do. And uh, I got this intuition literally uh, less than 40 hours ago where I was as very concerned about the future. I am now not as concerned about the future. I'm actually excited because I do believe good things are going to happen. So uh, I'm optimistic for the future. And I'm glad that I feel that way. But it was a feeling that came. And I, and I think that now I'm just going to run with that. Yeah, it can't get, well, I don't want to say it can get much worse because it sure as hell can. But it's been as bad as bad as it can be for where we are today. So I'm, I'm pushing forward for better days and brighter days. And with Isabel and a Paisley, we're going to do just great. <laughs> yes, we are. I'm excited too. I'm really excited for the future. Well, you got a new apartment, I hear, yeah? Yeah, I'm moving to Williamsburg soon. You're coming back to Williamsburg? For Willie B. Don't tell de Blasio. He's going to be upset. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want you messing up, you know, causing fun. Don't tell <laughs> Cuomo, because I know you. You'll be drinking on the streets. <laughs> causing havoc. Causing havoc. <laughs> English havoc. <laughs> I have another great question for you. Great. Um, can indie salons carry your product and get involved in the education? Oh, that's what that's what we are. We're a company that loves independent salons. We love that, and that's what we do. We call it the ambassador program. So an am the ambassador program is you start selling a Rojo product. You get reward dollars for every product that you sell. You can transfer that product in that into education. So I've got people coming to class this weekend that are using what we call their reward dollars based on their spend. And then you also get involved and come and work with me. We like to promote everybody that works with us. We are the independent brand. And uh, we're not building to sell, guys. Like a lot of companies come out and they build to sell. We're not building to sell. We're building to build. We're having fun. My company is completely 100% owned by me. So the decisions that I make are decisions based off what I think is uh, the right thing to do. So if you're interested, you can reach out to Valeria at Arojo, uh, at Arojo NYC, and she'll start to guide you through the process of getting a sample kit, trying out the products, and you'll find out what's in the ambassador program. We say ambassadors of our industry. So thanks for that question. Did I answer that enough? You did. And we put a little um, drop box for Valeria's contact form. Oh, wow. We're pretty good, aren't we? Yeah, we're on ah, it. We're on it. We're on it today. We're on it today. <laughs> you come on a good day. Dance we mean to go on. You come on a good day, Mary Sue. <laughs> you did. Uh, we, and I've started to remember your name now. <laughs> Scooby-Doo. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of rhymes, Mary Lou, Scooby, Mary Sue, Mary Lou, Scooby Doo. <laughs> trying to kill me? Sorry. She's trying to kill me. She put the plug underneath me. She said, Jenny, <laughs> Jenny, what are you doing, Jenny? She's trying to kill me. <laughs> Keep those questions rolling. It all was going so well. <laughs> it was all going so well until Nick slipped and broke his ankle. <laughs> Optimism soon disappeared into. <laughs> and Nick Arojo was put in jail last night with one broken ankle and his niece <laughs> was sent back <laughs> to, to England. We had a lovely time. It, with the hair being straight underneath, let's curl a little bit of this too. And then we're going to toss it around and maybe get the refinish for me, please, Isabel. I think a little bit of refinish. Now, I'm not making it curly. I just want to get a bit of a bend. A bit of a bend on the underneath so you don't have any bits falling out. Oh, Isabel, you did a good job. <laughs> Slippery. Slippery. So you're doing miladies. What are you doing for miladies? Milady, milady, milady. Milady. What the hell is miladies? Do you know? It's the national book for the Cosmo schools. I like it. So you're gonna see these hands. See that? See that? She's intelligent. <laughs> national book for schools. 
<laughs> so you're doing some of the work that will be in the cosmetology new edition. Correct. Correct, Amondo. And what are you going to do? What are you going to be teaching? I'm going to be doing a blunt haircut. That's the terminology, by the way. Yeah. And uh, a blunt haircut. Yeah. So that means like a heavy, clean kind of line. Yeah, I guess the heaviest. That technique. doesn't sound good. Whatever's going on doesn't sound good. Oh, it's the timer. I didn't realize it's got a big sound. <laughs> you could have warned me, Carl. I was ready to. Uh, <laughs> he's he's such a hoot. Drop he, what you're doing. <laughs> he's such a hoot. That guy. He just lets us. He surprises us. He's what a hoot. <laughs> Strange days, kids, with, with such a hoot from Hootie Carl. Hootie and, Hootie and the Carly. Right, right, now let's just have a look and see. Wow. It looks great. I'm just looking to have a look and see. Right, so now what time? It's uh, time to put a little bit of refinish. Ahmed said sleek waves. Sleek waves. <laughs> And I'm just shaking and pulsing. Now, this is our texture spray. Remember, today's the day that Mary Lou is going out. The hair's going to bounce instead of being Pocahontas <laughs> long. Yeah. Yes, we've taken, we're taking her out of the teepee. And we're putting her into, into well, Uber. <laughs> Get him a microphone. Do you have a microphone there? Carl to the stage, please. Can we get Carl to the stage, please? We want to see what this <laughs> lunatic looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize right now. Yeah, it's the Carl. Welcome to the Carl Show. <laughs> Carlitos Way. It's the new show we're working new on. Branding. Yeah. I, I know you have. <laughs> 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 it's all good fun. Can you pass me the blow dryer? Merci beaucoup, mon chéri. Yep. Uh -huh. So we just put that product in. And now I'm just going to loosen it up at the root. Loosen it up at the root. Just to kind of bake it in a little bit more. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, you know what I want? I'm going to need the iron because I'm going to give her. I see that she's got the little jumperoonie. Uh -huh. It's Australian for cowlick. You got a bloody <laughs> jumperoonie. I'm going to put a little jumperoonie in here. Oh, nice. Cal to the stage. Cal <laughs> to the stage, please. No, I want the wand. I don't want the flat iron. You said the iron. Give me the iron. Yeah, this is the iron. I'm so sorry. It's Thursday. I do apologize. We're here. Where is it? So we're just going to try and give it a little bit of a, yeah, a little heated up. Are you laughing at that, <laughs> Isabel? What is up with you? You can take the girl out of Manchester. You can't <laughs> take the curse out of the girl. Yeah, so you can just rub it in like this and just heat it up. Yeah. Yeah, please. All right. It's a family show. The pair of you. God and Bennett. Children. I've got kids myself. I don't know. He's still talking. He's still talking back there to himself. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody I love the fact that no one sees him. <laughs> it's not real. It's not real. It's not real. Yeah. It's it's not real. <laughs> Carl is not real. Let's put a little, uh, let's bump up the jam. Yeah. Bump up the jam a little, a little higher. Ah, oh, DJing, do you remember those days? Yep. <laughs> wow. Hello, Miss Moneypenny. There you go. Right, now let's do this. I'll turn that <laughs> off. Done with that. Let's do this. Head forward for me. Let's mush it up. 
Let's get the dry conditioner. Let's get the shine lux oil. Let's get the chicken palm. Let's get everything. Just in case we need it. Loosen it up. That's it. So we've really kind of just used our curling wand just to bring out texture and movement. It's washing where we try to dial it up so it gives her a little bit more of a... Wow. She's lost. She's lost. <laughs> Let's take this off now. There you go. There is a human underneath. <laughs> Head all the way back for me, please. So really just loosening up. Don't try and rake it too heavily. Just loosen it. Don't be scared of it. You can always, you can always kind of rejuvenate it and calm it down. So mess it up first to make it loose. She doesn't want to feel stiff. Not that the products are stiff. This product's not stiff. But you want to make sure that it feels completely wearable. I like the above shot, Cal. I do. Let's I'm do that again, go, Cal. Yeah. Wow, look at you. Great. Who knew? Cal's up Have on the he's up on the frame with the camera <laughs> over his shoulder. Yeah, he's looking down. Ladder. Hello, Cal. He's up there. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> Are we crazy? <laughs> you happy? It's great. You look amazing. <laughs> I do. Thank you, Isabel. <laughs> That's so kind of you. 